Welcome back, everybody. We are here with the top five running backs about a month into the season. If you remember back to last week, I gave you guys a little glimpse at the top five quarterbacks. All of our positions, all stacks are found at rlads.com. But I want to dive into the running back group. This is one of the top running back groups I think I've seen in recent memory. Obviously, we don't know who's coming out and who's not. But as it currently stands, we could probably have six or seven guys make a case to be uh, day one slash day two picks. We're going to start off with the Heisman favorite, Ashen Gentry from Boise State, five foot eight, two seventeen. This was the number one back in my preseason stack. He has not only solidified his place atop this group, he is now inching his way to the top overall spot in this class weekly. What he is doing through the first half of the 2024 season is some of the most dominant and electric play we have ever seen from a running back. If he continues the pace that he is currently on, he is going to approach Barry Sanders' untouchable all-time Division I single season and touchdown records, respectively. As a true freshman back in 2022, Genty led the Mountain West Conference in yards per carry. In 2023, he upped it to finishing third in the country in all-purpose yards and leading all of FPS and missed tackles force. And therein lies the trait that makes Genty special. He says it himself. His goal is to never let the first defender take him to the ground. He is averaging eight yards per carry after contact. Guys, among running backs with over 43 carries, there are 152 of them. Nobody is averaging that many yards per carry, period. Just an almost unbelievable number. The power, quickness, and balance he possesses on the compact frame combined with his vision and forecasting is a lethal weapon. I don't care what anyone's perception is of the running back value in the NFL today. He turned down big money from several big time programs, millions of dollars out of loyalty to the Boise State program. From the humble beginnings of football in Italy to the next big thing at running back, Genty is on a top 10 overall trajectory. Coming in at number two is Omari and Hampton from North Carolina, six foot, 216. The theme of these top two backs and even the top five overall revolves around my top trait I personally look for in the evaluation process at running back and it's yards after compact combined with top end speed. We all talked about the cream of the crop and Genty, but a close second within this portion of the evaluation sheet is Hampton. He was the power five leader in yards after contact per attempt in 2023 as he paves his way to all American honors. In 2024, he is putting up nearly identical numbers on a per game basis, but he's now showing more explosive plays. In addition, Hampton has yet to fumble this season, and that was the number one thing I discussed in the, uh, in the summer leading up to this season that he had to work on. Hampton is an old-school workhouse at 216 pounds with elite weight room strength. This is also a kid that ran a 10-7-1 100 meters, according to our good friends at Tracking Football. He has recently been clocked in the 4-4-5 range, putting him in rare territory at that size. Adding the fact that he is a dominant, try-hard pass blocker and has caught 90% of the passes thrown his way over his career with just one drop, Hampton defines number one back in today's NFL. Coming in at number three is Quinshawn Judkins from Ohio State, 5'11", 219. I almost could not believe my eyes when I saw Judkins was transferring to Ohio State this past offseason. After all, they already have the number six back in my current running back stack in Travion Henderson on the roster. Every season, there are impressive freshman running backs that impress. But let's not forget what Judkins did as a true freshman in 2022 at Mississippi. He led the SEC in rushing. In fact, it was the most yards by a true freshman running back in the SEC since Herschel Walker in 1980, over a decade before any of these prospects were even born. While 2023 did not match that level of production, he still did earn first-team All-SEC honors and proved to be one of the best, you guessed it, yard-after-contact backs in the nation. Here we are after a move to the Big Ten, and Judkins ranks third in the country with 7.8 yards per carry among backs with over 45 rushing attempts. He is on a 20-game streak of no fumbles, and he is currently setting a career high in yards after contact per attempt. 
Junkins, no nonsense running style and ability to run both low and behind his pads makes him an ideal match for teams that like to run a straightforward, straightforward gap based rushing scheme. You simply can't argue against the elite level of production we have now seen for three years out of Junkins. It will translate to the next level. At number four, we have Nicholas Singleton from Penn State, six foot, 227. During my preseason evaluation, the first thing I do look at is a prospect's background. After that, I'll begin some light tape study over the summer. The guy that I circled the hardest Penn, is this kid. Penn State has made a name for itself for producing some of the freakiest athletes in the country year after year. But we really haven't seen a big-time offensive playmaker from that program make a huge impact in the NFL. As a matter of fact, since 2004, there have been just two offensive skill players from this program drafted in the first round. Singleton, a 225 plus pound back that runs a 4-3-5-40, has, elite, has an elite raw physical grade, again, from our friends at Tracking Football. He also put one of the best true freshman seasons the program has ever seen back on tape back in 2022. He started 23. Uh, he has started 2024 on fire. He is averaging 7.7 yards per carry, and he has not fumbled once. Arguably the biggest thing he had to clean up from a year ago. While there is some tightness in his hips when he does try to move laterally, this is a rare combination of size and speed, and it's just too dangerous to not want to take a chance on. This guy has true home run speed with a league thirsty for more explosive plays from the running game. Singleton has the goods in that department. This is a guy that can create those big games. He is a big, he is as big and physical as he is fast. This may truly be a one of one freak at the running back position. Coming in to round out our top five is Caleb Johnson from Iowa, six foot. 225, perhaps the name in the entire running back stack that took the biggest in-season jump via tape study in this entire group. Johnson was on my radar via tracking football because of the elite PAI score, which measures the raw physical profile of a prospect. Johnson did show some flashes here and there over the first two seasons, but nothing prepared us for what we're seeing here in 2024. Johnson is second in the country in rushing behind Genty, and second in yards after contact per attempt. He leads the country in runs of over 15 yards. And no, this is not just some volume-based approach. Johnson does not even rank in the top 12 nationally in carries. What he's doing through five games is fast approaching special. The agility in which he moves with through tackles is not common. That, that, that backs the numbers I have on him and his agility testing. What he's doing both on and off the field in that department is usually reserved for backs that are shorter and about 20 pounds lighter. In a class full of big time running back prospects, Johnson is the one that is moving his way up the chain the fastest. His tape against Ohio State this past weekend proves he belongs with the big dogs. So there you have it. That's the top five running backs as we currently have them. If you wanna see the full stack, head to rlads.com. You can check out not only the running backs, but all of the positions that our team of scouts have put together. And this is, again, I want to repeat, this is the most important part of the process. These few months, the especially the back half of the season as we're fast approaching that. Uh, th this is the tape that is going to matter the most in the final evaluation process. Thanks, guys. We'll, uh, we'll be back with the wide receivers in a couple days.